No, la dejas. Ellos te la quitan. Ok, entonces la, la voy a... Ya no la comparto. Sí. Hello. My name is Claudia, part of the Wikimedia Mexico team. Uh, with my colleague Raquel, we will talk about the participation of women in Wikipedia. Well, it, it was in 2015 when we recognized that in Wikipedia, the work of women were not yet reflected. Even so, it is one of the most visited websites. So Carmen Alcaza, with the collaboration of another woman, created Editatona, a project, a project that seeks to reduce the gender gap in this space. Mm, this project not only generates content, it's not only about writing biographies uh, of women, it also builds safer spaces for them, spaces of complicity, learning, and sharing knowledge. Five, five years after this creation and implementation, we ask ourselves, why are women still underrepresented in Wikipedia content? This work allows reflection and understanding of the causes and effects of gender inequality. Also, the recovery of the experience of Wikimedia women on specific practices made visible the persistent gap of in Wikipedia. This is how this investigation came out. In this sense, we will have two moments. One where we'll address the results of this work and a second one where we'll answer your questions. Well, I want to present my friend and colleague Raquel. Uh, she is a feminist researcher and women's rights activist. So, Thank you, Raquel. Thanks to you, dear uh, Claudia. Uh, it's um, an honor and a pleasure that you are here with me. Uh, I have to say that uh, originally Ana Torres from uh, Wikimedia Argentina would be with us, but well, she, she couldn't be here, but uh, uh, she's uh, um, here. It is Claudia, so we are really happy. And well, it's a, a very, very special moment uh, for Wikimedia Mexico because we are uh, sharing with our community the results of this uh, researching. Um, I have to say that uh, it was an honor to me to collaborate with uh, the staff of Wikimedia Mexico and a, a very, very uh, marvelous and generous team. So now uh, I'm going to present part of the results. I uh, like uh, would like to say that um, the researching will be available uh, next week on English because we have the version on Spanish. So we're going to start uh, presenting the, the results. As uh, Claudia said, uh, Wikipedia is one of the most uh, consulted site on internet. Uh, is a uh, definitely very important referent on the uh, building of the knowledge around the world and well um, unfortunately uh, wikipedia wikipedia could not be uh, separated to the real world and when i say real world i mean uh, a material world with uh, very very functional differences and um, inequalities so uh, we decided to recover the experience of women because there were uh, before uh, some uh, numbers, very important numbers about gender gap in Wikipedia. Uh, but uh, we, we thought that uh, it would be very important to, to have this, um, this number in a, a qualitative level, you know. Uh, for the researching with gender perspective, it's very important to uh, recovery this part. Uh, the, the words from the experience of women, uh, this part that uh, could prove uh, those inequalities that I uh, mentioned before. And uh, yes, to answer the question, why uh, more uh, men write on Wikipedia? Uh, and a difference uh, to less women. So uh, it, it, it will be a kind of a complementary approach about this phenomena. I mean, we have the numbers about uh, gender gap and by the other side, we're gonna start to recover this experience. Um, well, 
I think it's very important also to say that uh, Edita Tona, as uh, Claudia said, uh, too, is a project uh, that born in, in Mexico uh, during six years. Uh, Edita Tona uh, is um, an space, a secure space uh, for women and, and girls, I have to say, uh, because sometimes uh, teenagers uh, were in these uh, workshops and spaces. And well, it, it has been very important because uh, we have more than uh, 600 articles. And this uh, workshop has um, repeat in uh, some cities in Mexico and uh, replicated in other countries, such Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Ecuador, El Salvador, Spain, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic and Uruguay, and some cities uh, in our country like Aguascalientes, Chiapas, Chihuahua, Guadalajara, Oaxaca, Querétaro, Sonora, and Jalapa. And we are very happy, and we have lots of plans about Editatona. And well, uh, Editatona um, received uh, some awards like the Omesiwatl Medal uh, in three years three years before, and uh, also received this uh, prize called Frida, that uh, is about regional uh, innovation uh, projects. And well, our dear, dear president of Wikimedia Mexico, uh, Carmen Alcazar, was uh, rewarded in uh, last days in the frame of Wik uh, Wikimania, because uh, she is uh, <laughs> the, um, well, I don't know how to say this in English, but uh, she's la más importante wikipedista. And well, to me, it was important to say it in Spanish. So um, we are very happy and we are very proud about it. But we are, um, we know that it's not enough. We need to do more things about uh, the participation of women and girls. It's also important to say that girls uh, have to be part of, of, of uh, Wikipedia because uh, they are part of a very, very uh, consistent genealogy and feminist work approach about uh, history with women, for and with women. So uh, we, we know it and that's why we started to, to plan in this uh, researching but well, I, I think that uh, in general, in our community, we know that uh, there's a kind of world Wikipedia, a world of Wikipedia. Uh, we know that Wikipedia was born on January 15, uh, um, uh, 20 years before. But uh, we know that also uh, there are uh, other projects. But what happened about our community, yeah? This is a, a very important point because uh, as I said at the beginning of the, this presentation, um, maybe we can uh, build an image, a mental image about the community of Wikipedia. But Wikipedia is part of a social world uh, based on inequalities, uh, biases and uh, lots of problems, lots of very problematic uh, situation. So uh, I think uh, we need more um, critical frames to understand the, the social dynamic and interaction between people on, on Wikipedia. So uh, according with, with these uh, ideas and thoughts, uh, we, we need to imagine where's the, where, where are women and what's the role of women in, in Wikipedia, and also uh, how the representation of women in our encyclopedia. Well, according with that, uh, we have a very complex community because, well, first, large number of people, people around the world, yeah, uh, all uh, versions of, of Wikipedia. So, um, we have a very, very evident cultural diversity. No? And also gaps, very important gaps that I say 
there are um, these connections about structural inequalities and gaps in Wikipedia, and also the biases. I think it's very important to recognize that. We have biases of gender, class, and race, of course. Yeah? Uh, put attention about it because uh, this frame of analysis uh, will be very important to understand the results and experience of uh, women who participated in our research. I am going to recommend to you um, a book uh, in English, Heretic Knowledge, in Spanish, El Conocimiento Hereje, uh, written by Patricia Lorente, that is an Argentine uh, professor. It's, uh, it was to me a, a, a very useful tool to understand uh, the Wikipedia world. And I would like to share to you this, uh, this fact. Uh, this is a, a situation uh, who the, um, that uh, Professor Lorente could uh, see in Australia in a conference uh, of Wikimedia Foundation. And sorry, it was in Taipei, and uh, the speaker was an Australian Wikipedian. Uh, her name was Brianna Locher, and, and she shared some questions with the audience. I'm, I'm going to read the, the, the entire um, idea. Do we want to create a community or do we want to prevent the community from growing because it distracts us from the task of writing an encyclopedia? Brianna asked, these questions after analyzing how the community reacted to the actions of new users. Uh, she pointed out, for example, that templates warning new users for uh, mistakes in the edits often do not serve the purpose of socializing newcomers in Wikipedia rules and facilitating their integration, but rather systemize their faults to sustain an early block. What did this mean? Well, uh, this, this question, I think, is uh, essential. I mean, what uh, we want as a community? We want to that community grows up, or we want to maintain and keep this very close group? Because uh, when we uh, think about uh, new users, uh, surely we want to think about women because we know that there's a gender gap, yeah? Uh, for example, uh, if we are talking about 10 uh, uh, um, uh, people that uh, is writing Wikipedia, uh, well, just one is a woman. So it's an evident gender gap. So uh, we have to recognize that if we are talking about new users, we are talking about women, yeah? So this is a problem about power, social relation um, based on power and inequalities. That's why I say at the beginning, but there's a other level of uh, this um, analysis. Also in the heretic knowledge, Patricio Lorente uh, tell us about uh, this kind of historical power relations between Spain and Latin America, for example. I'm talking about uh, Wikipedia in Spanish, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that this uh, context is present on the rest of the versions of Wikipedia around the world. So this is a debate about uh, the use of one word, uh, PAP. Uh, potato in in English. Uh, in Latin America, we uh, people say papa, and uh, in Spain, in the most common uh, word is uh, patata. So there there was a kind of uh, debate, but it's amazing how uh, could be these kind of situations could be a problem. Yeah, because uh, well, in in this case, we have this. Um, uh, a paragraph about uh, something that uh, um, a, Span uh, a Spanish man say, uh, to me, what seems like a localism is to give into the pressure of the number. Culture has never worked because of numbers, but for the other, less democratic reasons. 
if the very important for universal culture, Latin America says Papa, even if it is 10 or one, uh, 500 million, it is something that should matter rather light. Yeah, these um, men say that doesn't matter the number, doesn't matter this um, kind of uh, according with uh, the context, you know, it, it's something like, uh, some people think from Spain that uh, they have this uh, power uh, to the use of the language. But uh, we know that in our encyclopedia, it's important to think about diversity. Yeah, but this is a very clear example about historical power relations, uh, social relations. And we, we can imagine this uh, same uh, situation about uh, the relation of between women and men, yeah? Okay, but uh, before to start to present the results and uh, and this part of the experience of uh, the, this, uh, those generous, generous women who participate in our work, I would like to um, stop and uh, think about the notion of modernity and the notions about knowledge, yeah? I'm gonna read something very interesting. Because the uh, woman is the first reason for seeing the cause of the expulsion of men from paradise. And consequently, we must avoid all trade with her. We defend and expressly prohibit anyone from allowing themselves to introduce a woman, even if she is the most honest in this university. Well, the previous paragraph is a, a fragment of the decree of the University of Bologna. Yeah, we are talking about the referent. First, the oldest university in the Western and Westernized world. Yeah, and the reference to fa uh, found the uh, modern university. So uh, this is not part of our imagination. Uh, women, yeah, were not part of the modernity of the modernity social contract, yeah? What does it mean? Well, that uh, women are not citizens, yeah? Uh, maybe some people uh, could believe that I am crazy because I'm uh, telling you that, but well, uh, in, in this, in a full uh, 21st century, there's a lot of people that don't understand that women are people in a notion of uh, uh, rights and uh, a legal frame, you know? Uh, so, as I said, it wasn't part of our imagination. We weren't citizens. And that's why the mother knowledge of um, was built, yeah? We can see now two images. First, this project, the encyclopedia, in France, and uh, this reference of the men. After that, uh, we have to assume that this representation was about humanity. Yeah, but it was very, very, very problematic. Because if I, I uh, see this image, I'm not, I'm not there because I'm a woman. And also, in, in my case, I'm a woman from a country. Uh, uh, this division, I hate this kind of divisions, but uh, from the third world, they say before the uh, half of the uh, 20th century. So uh, what's the representation about that? this the diversity, the human diversity? And that's, that's the way that modernity was found. Yeah, so this is very important to understand that this situation is repeated in Wikipedia. I know it's hard to understand it. I know it's uh, uncomfortable to accept it, but if we uh, wanna uh, have a, a, a important and deep transformation in our community and the way that we are building knowledge, we have to recognize it there, yeah? It's very important to be honest and sincere, sensitive about the inequalities. 
Well, um, so I'm uh, going to share to you some ideas about how gender digital gap is on Wikipedia. First, uh, we have to, to think that uh, the very high cost of data and digital devices like cell phones, tablets, affects those who uh, uh, earn less. In this case, well, we are talking about women and uh, rural residents. Also, these cultural barriers, uh, these social attitudes, uh, like women should not be, uh, use the internet. You know? Or I think about lack of time, because uh, women have double or triple uh, workload. For example, uh, domestic work, uh, parenting and professional work, uh, and well, in this situation, uh, with this pandemic in area, was is more difficult to to women. Uh, the other element for the analysis is the self censorship, yeah, and fear. Don't forget this because it will be very important to understand part of uh, the experience of women in Wikipedia. Uh, well, according with this self censorship and the fear, yeah. Uh, because women uh, experience also a gender violence. Yeah, the other is the educational ed educational gap. Yeah, because uh, women and men don't receive the same education. Doesn't matter if education is a, a right. Yeah, a human right. Uh, we we also uh, can uh, observe these kind of uh, biases also in the educational uh, uh, frame. And, well, also, we have to analyze the access and participation of women and girls on the internet, yeah? We are talking about appropriation, yeah? Uh, the sense about the security, yeah? And also those abilities that we develop as a human being, but particularly as a woman. In, in the world, in the social world based in inequalities. Uh, I, I, I want to recover this uh, reflection about uh, the censorship from Margaret Gallagher. Uh, she's a um, feminist researcher from England, and she uh, noticed that censorship based on sex is much broader, more compelling, and usually more subtle than official or organized repression. Yeah, we are talking about this uh, fear inside of women. Yeah, because they uh, want, um, don't want to be uh, very visible. They don't want uh, to receive attacks. So the censorship is a kind of tool to uh, self care and self defense. Yeah. Uh, but but, but uh, the, the, the very shocking element on this is that uh, Margaret uh, Gallagher says that is uh, stronger than official or organized repression. This is really shocking because we are uh, talking about uh, freedom of, of speech as a, a human right, but at the same time, we are talking about this very deep fear on women. And you know what? I feel this fear. Now I'm feeling this fear. I'm very happy to share with you, with our community, the results of our researching. But at the same time, I'm, I'm really nervous because I'm expecting that as a maybe, maybe a, a group of men, a men or a man, uh, could say something, something really offensive. And that's the kind of fear that we have to experience each day. And I'm exhausted to live that. So can you imagine this um, context, this fear repeated in Wikipedia? When we are talking about violence against women and girls on the internet, what we are talking? We are talking about hate speech. We are talking about cyberbullying and harassment. Yeah. We are talking that um, the most uh, frequently hashtags, for example, in my city, 
uh, that's the capital of uh, my country, Mexico City, we could uh, see this uh, a, a very large number of hashtags based in hate speech. Yeah, we have to recognize that girls, boys, women, and young people are the main victims of this hate speech on internet. Yeah, and as I said in the beginning, we cannot separate Wikipedia from the material world, the social material world. Yeah. And uh, cyberspace is a kind of extension of this uh, misogynist violence against women and girls. Yeah. So um, now I'm going to talk to, to um, part this part of these um, results and, and try to, uh, to make a chat, a very close and cha uh, uh, close in, uh, uh, chat with, with uh, the, the audiences. I'm going to share to you the research methodology. Well, of course, we uh, needed to use gender perspective and also the feminist action research. Uh, these axes uh, are um, the base of our work, but I have to say that feminist action research is um, an, a perspective that uh, offers the opportunity not only to build knowledge, I'm, I'm talking about to build um, alternatives, you know, solutions for uh, uh, very important problems. And well, we decided to use interview as a technique, yeah, uh, because we wanted to uh, recover it in a qualitative uh, level. And well, we divide into three sub uh, groups our uh, informants. And well, first, Wikimedia volunteers and workers. After that, external Wikimedia uh, editors, uh, but uh, with uh, extensive experience. And also, uh, we, we wanted to recover the experience of um, Wikipedia volunteers that uh, don't have this um, extensive experience. And uh, because we are uh, interested uh, about the dynamic in Wikipedia on Spanish, we contact in uh, people from Latin America and Spain. And well, uh, we made about 20 interviews. And then, of course, the names of the women interviewed are not uh, disclosed uh, because we are uh, very interested to warranty uh, safety and self-care. Yeah, uh, for for us it's very important uh, develop a, a ethical work. So those uh, elements were really really important. Yeah. Uh, well, what about the discussion of our findings? Yeah. Well, uh, first uh, I have to say that uh, we worked with uh, women uh, whom had uh, access to education. Uh, even in university, so uh, the academic background favored uh, them to approach to Wikipedia. Uh, so I, I think uh, if we uh, wanna um, that our community rules rules up, we need to think how to approach Wikipedia to uh, people that don't have this kind of uh, academic background. I think it's very important. Uh, also, our participants uh, began creating articles on Wikipedia uh, according with the academic background and personal interests, but uh, because they became aware of how inequality is uh, present in, the, in Wikipedia, they became interested in uh, creating articles about women. So, uh, in this case, the experience is very important. Yeah. Well, in general, our uh, informants prefer to edit on their computers. And well, um, some of uh, those women do domestic work, but uh, other very important uh, group have support to this uh, activity. But they are uh, very uh, conscious about that the sexual division, division of labor involves many responsibilities for women. More in this uh, moment of the uh, pandemic moment. 
and they uh, uh, question uh, themselves, you know, uh, in what moment women could write on Wikipedia. Well, um, they uh, believe that in general, uh, it's not easy to external uh, people of the community to write on Wikipedia. Uh, they understand that, uh, again, their uh, academic framework was a very important tool to uh, collaborate in Wikipedia. But uh, also they uh, think as a very important element to uh, put on the table of the analysis the class condition. Yeah, we are talking about a uh, gender gap, but I think it's very important to understand that the condition of class of people is a very, very important uh, element to understand why people, um, why uh, women don't uh, write on Wikipedia at the same uh, way of uh, according with the uh, numbers of, of men in Wikipedia. Yeah, uh, because Puberty has face of women and girls, yeah? Uh, according with numbers of uh, international organism, uh, of uh, 10 persons in puberty, seven are uh, women or a girl. So the condition of class is very important, yeah? What uh, were the practices and discourses detected in our empirical work? Well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read some uh, part of, of the reflections that uh, this group of, of women uh, shared it with us. There are always barriers. There are always questions of the encyclopedic relevance of what you write. If you write about a man, they don't question you. And that's generous insecurity. That's why I've concentrated on improving articles. Yeah, It's not the same to create an article about a woman than a man, yeah? Uh, this is very interesting. I've noticed that since I identify myself as a feminine user, I'm being questioned and monitored more, yeah? So uh, this is a kind of a strategy from uh, 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 some group of women. Uh, they prefer to choose a masculine or a neutral name of user because they don't want to see as a woman in Wikipedia, yeah? Well, there's another. I had suspicions about bias in women, women's participation, but it was confirmed <clears throat> with the Edita Tonas. Uh, sometimes, even if you're a man and you write about women, they delete your articles. So this kind of practice is part of a very misogynist culture, yeah? And uh, well, uh, this practice about uh, to delete, delete in a record time their articles that uh, talks about a woman, yeah, and and also well uh, this um, sense of frustration, you know, uh, from women because they uh, work really hard to create an article and suddenly they disappear, those articles, yeah. Uh, this is, you produce little and what you produce is erased, yeah? And also, uh, our informant said, we can idolize Wikipedia because it's a violent, vertical, sexist, yeah? There are some kind of practices and dynamics, yeah? This is very important. And also this, the, the the, 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 that a bad intention is present, yeah? This woman doesn't have doubt about it. And I think it, it's very sad and tragic, yeah? And what's the difference, uh, for example, uh, uh, between the men experience and a, a woman experience, yeah? We have this. My partner also did, and unlike me, he has fun and I feel, uh, anguish and frustration it's a different experience yeah why and and that's great a man uh, feels very happy 
to edit in editing in Wikipedia, but at the same time, a woman feels fear. Why? This is a very unfair situation, yeah? And well, we uh, have some examples of uh, attacks, very, very uh, punctual attacks to uh, this group of, of women who women who participated. For example, this historical relation between Spain and Latin America, yeah? Uh, many Spanish men are very misogynist. In Mexico, some of us think that at the night is the best time to edit. But many times the Spaniards arrive and are attentive at the time difference is when they are active. Yeah, and this uh, other idea very important, there is a selective harassment. Many of these accusations come from publishers in Spain. The sense of appropriation of language is too strong. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I think resistance shouldn't be feeling afraid, yeah? This is part of, of um, the experience of women, yeah? I don't like to respond to uh, the message. Uh, uh, I practice the self-care and I don't like to be visible in networks, yeah? I, I'm trying to use uh, a different name uh, and well, this is very important. When you're less afraid, they want to generate it. This is very tragic. This is very sad. Um, and we are really worrying about it. Yeah. But well, there's a, there's a very positive part of, uh, in our work. Yeah. Uh, we have to uh, present this uh, very sincere and honest framework context about Wikipedia as an extension of these uh, structural and material inequalities. But also we want to share to you some keys to promoting women's participation on Wikipedia. First, we need to be together. We need to be allies uh, and, and we need to, to do these allies with uh, very uh, gentle and generous and kind people, yeah? It's very important. And we uh, also need to write more about women, not uh, uh, also in Wikipedia. We need to uh, write more about women in media, for example, because we, we know very well that uh, we need references when we are writing an article. It's very important to write to recovery the history about women, yeah? Of course, um, um, just, um, I'm just sharing to you some parts of our researching. You could uh, you, you you could see next week the the version on English because now it's available in Spanish. But uh, well, this is part of uh, a year of, of very hard work, and of course we have lots of plans to promoting women's participation in Wikipedia. Many thanks. I think we can now. Uh, be in a conversation with the audience. Many thanks. I don't think we have time for for questions, but we can see each other in building one fifth floor. And I think Raquel will respond your your questions. So we can enter with one, like how can we make these articles about women get more visits? Raquel, that, yeah. what do you think? Well, I think, uh, the, the, for example, uh, talking about um, Editatona project, I think it's important uh, to, to uh, produce these workshops, but in, at the same time, with a different events, like uh, conferences, uh, debates. I think it's very important uh, to to be um, and, and to make more visible um, those articles about women and, and connect with uh, a kind of genealogy, you know, uh, the base of his historical level and understand that women uh, have participated in the build of the world. 
Yeah, and, and, and well, we are in the half of humanity. So we, we have to be more visible. So I think this is important. And, and also planning uh, according with a, a very punctual and, and popular. Uh, popular in Latin America is something um, not uh, with fame. I'm, I'm talking about uh, a methodol methodological education uh, from the base. Yeah, from the popular culture, the this um, indigenous culture, yeah, and, and we have to recover that. We have to uh, approach to the origin and the roots of our culture, to that uh, references make sense to and make sense to people. I think. And our I have another question. What's the next, the next of this investi investigation? Yeah. What's coming forward? Well, we, we have a lot of work in Wikimedia Mexico because we have to uh, plan in uh, or, or make up a plan uh, with media because we have to, to, to make visible this uh, research in this investigation. And also we are planning um, a program based in education with gender perspective to promote the the participation of women and also uh, doing allies with uh, media because uh, there's a, a very punctual interest in on um, from women of media you know uh, journalists writers uh, indigenous communicators so we have to uh, build this uh, net, net in feminist uh, net, you know, to, to try to work according with our access. And I think that that's two of uh, uh, the basic actions, actions that we have to develop to the rest of the year. Thank you, Raquel. I love this presentation. And I just only want last, one last question. Where we can find the Spanish version of this investigation? Yeah, if you uh, um, search on uh, Wikimedia Commons, you can find um, the, the, the version on Spanish. And uh, next week, um, the version on English will be available in, in the same uh, section in Wikimedia uh, Commons. And, and you can uh, find it uh, in the uh, name on, on Spanish. Nosotras escribimos Wikipedia. Okay. Thank you a lot, Raquel. Do you want to share another thing, another message for the public? Yes, well, we have only one minute left. So uh, I'm very happy. It was an honor. Thank you very much to our community, and especially I want to uh, uh, thanks to our president, uh, Carmen Alcázar, for all the support. And also I want to thank to you, my dear Clo, Claudia, and our dear Alex. Uh, it's a marvelous staff of Wikimedia Me uh, Mexico, and I'm, I'm, I feel really proud and grateful with, with you guys. So, and well... <laughs> Uh, a very, very strong hope for our community and our international community. Many thanks. Thank you a lot. See you. Saludos sonideros for the Mexican people in, in the chat. <laughs> Saludos sonideros. <laughs>